Why did I become a spiritual entrepreneur? Well, as if entrepreneurship isn't hard enough, I think it's even more difficult when you're a spiritual entrepreneur, especially in today's society. It's becoming better, but still, it's, it's a challenge at times, right? So why did I do it? I think the short answer is I really didn't have a choice. Like most spiritual entrepreneurs, I felt a deep calling within me where there was no plan B. This was it. I had tried other things. Uh, I'd worked in corporate America. It had become a very, very toxic environment towards the end there. Um, you know, where one minute you're a hero, the next minute you're a zero, and the cycle just continued over and over again. Uh, I even had a couple of Me Too experiences while working at corporate in corporate America. So definitely a lot of learning experiences. But even while I was an employee, I've always had something on the side, right? I've always had a business on the side. Even at the age of like eight and nine years old, I started my own t-shirt business. It was my idea. I had a concept. I told my mom what I wanted to do. She helped me to find, you know, a t-shirt vendor, but I, it was my concept and I decided that I wanted to make money doing that. I didn't need the money, right? I was getting everything that I wanted from my parents and there were no issues there, right? But I just felt that desire to, to be a boss <laughs> from day one or from a young age anyway. But being a spiritual entrepreneur, especially while I was in corporate America, like I said, in that very, very toxic environment, um, in the midst of it, I I prayed very deeply for to be not even just for guidance, but for guidance definitely. But also, I prayed to be removed from that situation. But the, I, you know, I had a little fine print with that. I wanted to make sure that I left with some money. <laughs> and so while I thought it would happen through a lawsuit, which is a long long story there, <laughs> but. Um, it happened through my position getting eliminated company-wide. And while in the moment I was sad and it wasn't the way I had planned or wanted it to be, I was able to leave with a severance package. So my prayer was answered and like usual, it's not answered always exactly how you picture it, but it was answered. And so with that, I knew that I was not cut out for uh, corporate America, right? I just, the politics and the environment, not saying that all corporations are like where I was, but I knew I couldn't go back to that. And there was still always a strong desire to be a full-time entrepreneur. I had a young son. I wanted to be there for him. I wanted to be able to work from home and, and raise him and not have to race, you know, through traffic to pick him up. Nothing wrong with that, but I personally did not want to do that. I, I had experienced that as a child from my mom, right, where she was racing to get to me. And sometimes I was the last one in daycare. And I just remember that that feeling of sitting there waiting and wondering. So personal experiences made me want something else for my child, for my son. And I wanted to build that. And also more importantly, I wanted to use my natural gifts, right? I wanted my boss to be a higher power. And so again, back to prayer, I sought guidance. What was I supposed to do? You know, again, I had businesses before, uh, the t-shirt business when I was young, but also as an adult, I created gift baskets. So I had a gift basket business. I also did, you know, a couple of other things. I had a consignment store. So a lot of things, usually most of them involved being creative in some sort. And so when I look back at it now, like I told you at the beginning, that it really wasn't a choice. This was something that was part of my purpose that I was destined to do. Because I told you, my first business was a t-shirt business, which is a creating products. And so now what I do at expandyourheart.org is to create products, <laughs> both digital and physical products for entrepreneurs, right? Like 
journals. I helped them do t-shirt designs, um, logos, planners, card decks, courses, right? So I was doing that at eight and nine years old already. And so it just, <laughs> you know, there was a long path to get to or back to, I should say, where I was supposed to be, which was as a spiritual entrepreneur. So it was just connecting those dots and getting everything to work together and learning the lies. And, you know, there was also um, really letting go of the fact that I had to have a, a J-O-B in order to have that security. And so once my position was eliminated, that myth was broken <laughs> very, very quickly and painfully, but it was broken. And so once I knew that that wasn't the case anymore, then the sky was the limit. You know, the stars were the limit because I could, I could finally do what it was that I always wanted to do. There was no, no need to have a so-called safety net. You know, I did have that severance, which helped me to get started initially, but there, there was no choice for me to become a spiritual entrepreneur. If I tried to separate one of them, it would literally feel like I was being cut in half, seriously. So I can't, and I, I can't separate the two. I am who I am, right? I am a, a spiritual being having a human experience, just like you. And for me, this is my purpose. This is my desire. This is what I'm here to do and how I am here to serve. And it is a, an extreme honor and joy and pleasure, although it can be challenging at times, but for the most part, everything is amazing. It's, it's I get to do exactly what I said I wanted to do. I'm able to work from home able to spend quality time with my son, I'm able to be in the carpool line for him and there for him after school as well. So, and take him to activities. So that's what I wanted for myself. And I also wanted to make sure that I could give that to other women. And even, I should mention that I've been able to do all of that as a single mom, right? I don't have any, a partner that can support me and that's okay. Right, But to be able to work from home, like I said, all the things that I've been able to do with my son and take him on vacations to Hawaii and Mexico, you know, at a young age, he's been able, able to travel outside of the country. That's not something that every single mom can do or even it, every parent can do. And I wanted to make sure that I could lead by example. And also through product creation, I can help you to do the same thing. It gives you that freedom to be able to work from anywhere, to be able to make money while you're asleep or eating or in the shower or on vacation. That's what product creation gives you, that freedom. In addition to building a legacy for your children and your children's children and so forth and helping people long after you're gone. So those are the reasons why I became a spiritual entrepreneur, came out of the spiritual closet, which is probably a story for another time. But if you found this helpful, I invite you to schedule time to connect with me and we can talk about how I can serve you in your journey through spiritual entrepreneurship. Until next time, I invite you and I encourage you to take inspired action to create the life and empire that you desire. Take care.